Dozens of people displaced by a massive apartment fire in Hartford. Right now figuring out a way to try and pick up the pieces. That fire at Charter Oak Apartments killed one person and injured dozens more. Fox 61's Aisha Bo spoke with residents today as they were picking up belongings. She now joins us live with more. Aisha. Hey Ben, good evening. Charter Oaks Apartments, it is home to 68 units, so you can just imagine just how many folks were impacted by this fire. And today some folks did come by to pick up their belongings, and I got a chance to speak with some of them who, as you can see, they are still here doing just that. And they say, of course, this is a tough time, but they are just grateful that they made it out alive. Okay, I'm helping my mom who lives here to salvage whatever she can. Cynthia Russell's mother still recovering from what her family is calling a nightmare. She said that tenants, she could hear them around her. They thought she was dead because she passed out, but she could hear around her. She seen the firemen rescuing people, rescuing babies. She said it was, it was horrible, like it's like a nightmare. All hands on deck in the city as Hartford firefighters race to rescue more than 40 people out of the burning building Sunday. She's 70 years old. She came down from the fourth floor in the dark. Dozens, like Russell's mother, were rushed to the hospital, four in serious condition, and a 50-year-old Jeremy Kaiser did not make it out alive. Some people are still in the hospital, okay, and then most of these people are elderly or on fixed income. Most of the residents are currently staying in motels, but for some, that's just half the battle. Right now, I have nothing, you know. I mean, I have clothes, but I have like no food, no money, no nothing. I don't get my food stamps till the first, so. Police arrested and charged 28-year-old Destiny Waite with arson and murder. Police say Waite threw a lit hand sanitizer bottle at her girlfriend during an argument igniting the flames. And maybe it was just a little squirrel, but look what, what, what's going on. And somebody died. While people like Wayne Clark remain grateful to make it out alive. I mean, it's material, you know. You know, I, I mean, it, it hurts, but you know, life goes on. I'll survive. The recovery is just beginning. The people that are still in the hospital and the elderly people, you know, they need some help. I'm okay. I'm just so yeah, grateful that right. God killed my sister. Yep, you are right. And right now, as you can see, there are still folks picking up the rest of their belongings. And as far as Destiny Waite, she was arraigned in front of a judge yesterday and being held on a $1 million bond. I also reached out to the city today to figure out how they are planning on helping these folks. And right now, they say they are still pulling together resources, and they are, of course, in contact with the victims of this fire. For now, reporting in Hartford, Aisha Bo, Fox 61 News. Aisha, thanks. And coming up on the news at four, questions remain about.